Right, welcome back. Um, I've just been messing about doing a bit more of the sorting area. Show you that quick. Just working on these little rooms now. I've only got to there, so I need loads more uppers, but I've got some iron smelting away, as well as some more stone, well, cobblestone, so I can make some more bricks. I've managed to pick up a few more ender pearls. But um, today, I think I'm going to make a uh, chicken farm because I'm getting fed up of having to feed these cows to get the meat off them. So I'm going to make an automated chicken farm where I don't need to worry about it. Just grab a bit more food. So yeah, basically this will just keep running. I uh, don't need to bother with it. I'll I'll attach it to the, eventually attach it to the sorter, so I'll basically get cooked chickens coming into one of these lot. Uh, this is the room I've made for it. One thing I have done is made it a little area in the corner where you can get natural light through there. I'll just put glass in the way to, to stop it, because it's going to work off a, off a um, light sensor. Right, so let's get get to it. Yeah, that, that. Hopefully, I've got enough stuff there. Um, I'm not going to make it very big, I don't think. Um, five blocks should do it. make an area because I think I dug this out and that'll go straight into a sort into the sorter so not gonna need it to go straight into there just yet. So I want to build up a little bit of a uh, bit of stuff first. Uh, I'll put a chest in that one eventually. Alright let's start off by putting the uppers in. I've seen a lot of designs of this where it's a lot bigger, but I'm just making a little compact version. I'm going to leave plenty of space around here for, for the redstone. Right, and on top of the uppers, pop some half slabs. Now the idea of that is that this the void in between the half slab and the next block holds up lava so anything that's only half a block gets to survive such as baby chickens oh that's going to look no good there is it I have to go down one more there because it just looks silly Making a bit of a mess of this. Like so. <laughs> and the upper comes. Yep. <coughs> That's the way. Something like that, anyway. Right. So. What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. Let's put some glass in. So I like to add glass in just so I can see what's going on. Don't really need it, but it just looks a bit cooler. Oh, I forgot. I've got my uh, my texture pack on there. I'm using the Mesa one, but I just put put it back to normal. Mm, back to game. Right. I 
Sometimes I'll choose a texture pack just for something different. Oh, can I hear something? That's probably outside. But what I did get earlier was I got something spawning here, so let me just check see if see if anything's turned up. Don't mind Enderman turning up, but I had a skeleton in here earlier. It was in that corner, so I put extra torches down. Hopefully I've stopped it, but we'll soon see. Distracted again. Alright, so that should be fine. Now we need some dispensers. Um, should get some more blocks that we can use. Oh, damn it. Don't need that back row in. They all need to be dispensers. The dispensers all need lava in. Right. <laughs> Bit of a pain in the neck this build, but it's definitely worth it in the end because you just do not have to worry about food again. Right, so that's them ones. Now we need a dispenser in this side, and that's the one that pumps the eggs in. Oh, not like that, I don't. Oh, yep, yeah, that's all cool. I've never built a compact version of this, so I don't know whether it's going to work. So, right, so the top row is where you keep your stock chickens. And it'll be the same process. And one. On this one, you actually build a proper wall to keep them in. Um, tell you what, I should have bought some X with me. Once that's done up there, I don't have to go back in, in there. Right, so <coughs> Hopefully this should work. And I won't escape. Right that I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. I really can't see that I'll need more than that, but It's only five for there. I might chuck a couple more and see if I can get some more. Oh, 
Ah, I hate it when that happens. Sometimes they get stuck in the wall. Right. Well, if that's not enough, tough. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so. Any time that. I'll do this bit first. Any time that eggs come into there, I'm going to want to send a signal out to a uh, clock just to tick away and pump the eggs into this bottom one. So, this pr this pretty easy bit. Uh, it's repeaters, comparators, all the blah. Right. That is a technical term, the blah. Right, so a signal, it's got a signal. It's got something in there, so it sends out a signal. Straight into a Oh, I could put the clock straight there actually. <laughs> what the hell? Where did you come from? Where's it going? Escapee. Right, so where was I? Yep. Oh. Now I made some sticky pistons. This bit is, will just be to turn the clock on and off. Because if you have it constantly on, it's just tick tock, tick tock all the time. It does your head in. So. Where the hell have I put that? I don't know how to put them in my chest. <sighs> Not only that. Right. So the comparator does that. So hopefully, if we've got stuff in that, yep, that works. See so if it works with just one. Yep. Right, so that, push that onto there, which completes the clock we're just about to make. Uh, repeat, oh. it doesn't matter how quick it goes really. Bring that back round. That's got to get into that one. Just keep it light round there. I don't want anything spawning. Okay, so. Bob. Yep. There we go. So that bit works. And hopefully, that's it, it turns it off. <coughs> Show that again. Push the piston, completes the clock, and then when you run out, turns it off. Cool. Right, let's just tidy that bit up. Tell you what I could do. Ooh, that wasn't supposed to happen. It's not going to be the nicest looking thing in the world, but I think in this section I'll do a door. <laughs> but, <coughs> right, so now we need to get these running. Which, ooh, I don't know if that's going to cause a problem. Right, 
So all of these need to be powered. If I power them in the right place, that would be handy. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so all them ones need to be powered, as I say. <laughs> what we need to do is set a pulse. I may need a bit more room around here. First off, from the that's the that's, um, yeah right. Oh dear, <coughs> not one. That's the only thing out there I need. So right, that is where we have the light sensor, because that's where the light comes through. So light sensor, um, ah, that's interesting. I think I've got it. If I do it this way. Okay, so light sensor into a pulse, which is really easy to make. What you need is a repeater and a comparator. Set like that. Always oh, set that on the Anatech. So when it see it just sends a quick pulse, and then all we need to do is power them. Um, I'll tell you what, I might not even be able to bring that back. Bring it back one, that'd be cool. Always put a tick on there because it don't work otherwise. Yeah, cool. So, I want a repeater in there and then power to it. And then you come off and do one, two repeaters, put a couple of ticks on each of them. So hopefully now it does nothing, yay! No, that's not quite what I had in mind. Ah, I know what's going wrong. Stick that there. And I need to put a repeater in there just to strengthen the signal, I think. Um, no more repeaters. <laughs> right, gonna have to get another repeater. Hopefully, this will work. stone at the minute and it's taken quite a while to see how far gone I am. Mm. Oh, I'm going to start getting iron soon.
Yeah, I've not got much iron. So hopefully that'll start filling up and I can make more uppers and do a bit more of this sorting area. Oh, I've took a bit more of the flooring out as well. Right, anyway, back to the job at hand. Torch just to see if it works. <laughs> Maybe we'll be lava in there. Yep, there is lava in there. Right, scrap pretty much what I've done so far because it's all stupid. As long as this works, I'll go through it afterwards. Right, repeaters. I think I see the problem here. I love about redstone, it's so much messing about. <laughs> yep, cool. So it dumped two pulses. So that creates the pulse. Power goes through that one, turns it on, and power takes a bit more time to go through this one to turn it off. So you get fire going through their lava, cook anything that's above them. That should have turned off. Why didn't it turn off? Ah, oh, it's because it's already on. Right. It's easily solvable. Right, let's try again. enough time. So let's put these delays on a little bit further. Yes, that was very quick but it just fires fire out and because it's only one square any of these that have grown up will be more than half a block will get burnt, fall into the uppers underneath and come out into a lot of them stones. So that's pretty much it, it's all up and running. Instead of a torch there, we're going to have that. So daylight sensor. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Now it's just a case of giving it a bit of time to, to do its thing. It should start working. As soon as I start getting a few down there, enough to uh, actually set the set the sorter I'll put it straight into the sorter so I'll probably come back to this and show you how it's working in a, in a future episode but for now I think that's it for tonight um, next time I think I'm gonna try and hit that uh, what's it called oh, I can't even remember uh, in the nether the spawner the blaze spawner that's one oh that was close stick up another one of them in there yeah, I think next time it's going to be the blaze spawner because I need to start getting some blaze rods. Let's think about going to the to the end, killing the dragon, and doing all the bits there at the Enderman farm. So yeah, I'll see you soon.